everyone and welcome back to the happy heart I am so glad that you guys came over today to see this grocery haul I really was not in the mood to meal plan was not in the mood to grocery shop but oh thank you Jesus for Walmart pickup and I actually did a Walmart pickup order it did take me a while to put everything in and I didn't have any problems though with like substitutions or anything like that that people talk about and I do enjoy the Walmart pickup it was just, I think I was just not feeling the grocery store shopping regardless this week. And I know y'all know what I mean, because sometimes you just don't feel like doing all of it. So, I wanted to show you guys, I got um, about $210 worth of stuff. This will make about 14, 13, 14 meals. And um, I will, without further ado, I will show you what I got. So this is the overview of all my groceries. Like I said, it was about 210. And I will take you guys through and show you what I got. Always have to have the orange juice. You guys know my guys love the orange juice. Basically got a gallon of milk. I always buy the organic milk, y'all know, because it stays good longer. So see the date on here is February, and today is January 19th. This half and half is actually for a recipe. Um, it's for cauliflower soup, actually. I got two things of these big chicken breasts. I'm actually gonna cut them in half, and so do, it'll take me about four different meals right here, so that's really good. Um, got two things of this bacon. They actually had to substitute this bacon. Um, I got a different kind, but I got um, a bigger quantity, but I really didn't want this kind of bacon because it had a lot of fat on it. Um, this one's actually not too bad, but it's what you get when you do the grocery pickup order. You're kind of subject to whatever they pick. Went ahead and got some meatballs because we can just eat those or we can put them in spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, mac and cheese just to have on hand for a lunch. I actually got two things of ground beef and I usually buy the different kind, the organic ground beef, but this time I went ahead and got these because they were a little bit cheaper. I went ahead and got two things of um, ground turkey and I used these for tacos and I really really like this instead of ground beef which what I was which is what I was using before or sometimes I would even do chicken but I was really liking using the ground turkey. I um, went ahead and got a roast for us so that would be good something we can put in the crock pot some good comfort meal. Don't you guys hate how much these cost though? They're so good, but oh, they cost so much. So this is kind of the little snack section right here. And honestly, got done with doing this, doing the order online. My husband was like, I said, did you need anything else? And he was the one putting it all in online. I was just telling him what to put in and he kind of put in a good majority of all this. So, um, these are my kids' favorite cookies, but I love that there's a great value brand. We got him some goldfish. Um, he got himself a bag of Doritos, my husband. Those are his favorite. And um, he also got these. He said he got two because they were 92 cents. And so they're like those Nutter Butters kind of thing. Um, I went ahead. These were the first time I got these. And they're basically Ritz crackers, but they are the great value brand. Um, I needed one sleeve for a recipe and a couple sleeves for um, Ryan really wanted to make his own Lunchables this week. So I got those. Um, they were such a good price. I think they were like one twelve. So that's why I ended up getting two. Went ahead and got um, pancake mix because we've been making a lot of pancakes, a lot of waffles lately. And I love the just add water. It's so nice and easy, especially if we're doing it for a lunch, even for a breakfast. Um, got butter flavored syrup. Um, just great value brand because um, it was cheaper. Went ahead and got crescent rolls. This is actually for a dinner and um, it's like a casserole and you put the crescent roll on top you just roll it out it's so good i'll have to film it for you guys um the sour cream and the cottage cheese are both for meal dinner recipes this week and so um the sour cream is kind of encompassing a bunch of them plus like taco night and the cottage cheese has to do with a noodle recipe that is so good i'll have to share with you guys 
went ahead and got two loaves of bread. I'll probably freeze one. I love to have bread in the freezer on hand. I'm hoping I have enough room to freeze it, so we'll see. Cross your fingers. Over here, I got some tortillas, and I think they gave me extra tortillas, to be quite honest, because I got these Mission flour tortillas, and then I got this kind, and one of them was supposed to be like a bigger burrito size, and one of them was supposed to be taco size, but they're all taco size. So I think that what happened was they gave me two extras, which is okay in my book. I mean, we'll definitely use them, but I really only meant to get two packets of them and I meant to get bigger ones. So I don't know if he just hit it wrong on the computer, but when I did check my receipt, it was like they gave me extra is what it looked like. Um, I went ahead and got thin spaghetti. This is what I make when I make spaghetti. I like it so much better than the regular kind of spaghetti. I have no idea why. Um, the only bad thing was this one was kind of open. So I'll probably have to take that back, which is kind of a pain. Egg noodles for the noodle bake that I do. It's actually a Pioneer Woman recipe, and guys, it's so good. Uh, went ahead and got 18 pack of eggs and a thing of butter. This has four sticks in it. I had some butter already, but I wanted to make sure I had enough to last me the two weeks. I uh, went ahead and got some cheese back there and that's for various meals, tacos, and um, to use basically with various dinners. And this is all the fresh kind of fruit and things like that. Uh, bananas, obviously. I got two things of baby carrots because you guys know if you've been around for a little bit, my guys love carrots in general and they'll eat these like they eat chips. So I got two bags of those. Went ahead and got a red onion and that's for a casserole. Went ahead and got three lemons. I'm making a whole chicken with three lemons and actually this thing of rosemary. So um, it's such a good recipe. It's actually a Pioneer Woman recipe as well. I got a head of cauliflower for cauliflower soup and um, a thing of carrots and this was for the roast and um, just to help with um, various other meals. Um, these were three zucchinis. I think one of the meals I know for sure called for zucchini and a, a bell pepper, which was right here, but I got two just to have as a side uh, because I love squash, so I love zucchini. Uh, one of my recipes that's a casserole, you put feta cheese under that um, crescent roll and some other stuff. I'll have to film it for you guys. It sounds really crazy, but it's so good. And they actually had to substitute my feta cheese. This isn't the brand that I normally get, but as long as it's crumbly, that's all, I ma that's all that mattered to me. I actually ended up with two things of potatoes. These were rather inexpensive, um, but I had a recipe where it called for having baked potatoes. And so as you can see, the potatoes are about this big in this bag. And they're the Idaho's potatoes. And then these are red potatoes. Normally I always cook with red potatoes. I just find them easier to work with. Um, but the recipe was actually baking baked potatoes. And so that's why I got two different kinds. It wouldn't be something I normally do, but potatoes are interestingly enough, pretty inexpensive. So over here is kind of my overview, my overflow. I love Special K. Do not love that they dented the box, but I'm going to take it out of the box anyway. So that'll be fine. These are my fave and my kid loves these. So I got a huge thing. This is a five pound thing of clementines and oh my gosh, guys, you can smell them. They smell so good. I got, um, this is my husband's favorite. He loves chicken rice. I usually get the Nor chicken rice, but this was actually a few cents cheaper, and it's just as easy as doing the Nor. Um, went ahead and got some just regular rice. Um, I use this for Mexican rice or anything like that if I'm going to make risotto or anything like that. Um, and I think this will last the full two weeks, and I think I have some more in my pantry as well. Uh, as far as canned goods go, I usually don't buy that many canned goods, y'all know, but um, I went ahead and got tomato sauce, and this is mostly for, one is, two of them are definitely for a meal, two of them are for rice, I can't remember what the other two are for, but they all had purposes. 
um, refried beans have to do with my enchiladas and I think I filmed that for y'all before so I will um, put a pop a card up here so you guys can see my enchilada recipe. Um, trying taco seasoning for the first time I usually just um, put seasoning in my meat but I really wanted to try some taco seasoning and see because everybody I know uses this so we'll see if that is any better. And I'm actually going to make taco soup, which is what all of these cans of um, goods are for. Two regular tomatoes, a thing of Rotel, and then these are all the different beans. So we have kidney beans, canola beans, or like navy and uh, navy beans, uh, black beans, and corn. So it should be good using some taco seasoning in that as well. And it's the first time I've made it, but everybody says it's really easy. Um, went ahead and got some craft singles because I have a meal where I'm going to make some soup and have grilled cheese. And also my kid likes grilled cheese, my husband likes sandwiches. So went ahead and got two of them because I was afraid I would run out. And then he picked out his own lunch meat and he really likes ham so he picked out this Great Value Ham. Um, and this is about nine ounces. It's kind of a thinly sliced, but he will make sandwiches and take them to work all week. Plus my son really wanted to use them for Lunchables. As I always tell you, everybody has their vice. My vice is right here and I love it. I know it's terrible for me, but you know, we all have our vice. Um, went ahead and got some toilet paper. These are supposed to be paper towels actually, so I have to take those back, but it must have been, we actually did check our receipt and it must have been something that um, he typed in wrong. So this is the overview. Like I said, this is about $210. So this is my overview. Like I said, this is about $210. And I will share with you guys the meal plan. So this is actually my meal plan. This is my planner. And this was the backside of January. And so I actually just made my meal plan on this and I planned out lunches and kind of like breakfast lunchy stuff plus I planned out dinners. I always end up planning out dinners. The only thing I didn't get is I didn't get this last item but everything else I got stuff for. So I make enchiladas, so enchiladas and rice. I figured we'd have tacos two nights. Um, I do a Pioneer Woman noodle bake, a um, taco soup that I'm actually cooking right now so I can show you and show you all that um, I do fried country pork chops and I'll put a link here to that video it's they are amazing y'all um, I do a whole roasted chicken and it's with lemon and rosemary uh, spaghetti with meatballs cauliflower soup and grilled cheese chimichangas which I have a video that I'll uh, link here as well chicken this is actually like a casserole and I'll probably film it for y'all. It's um, just chicken with like Ritz crackers on top. Uh, I have a roast with potatoes and carrots. And this is baked potatoes with chicken over it. The chicken actually goes in the crock pot. It's really easy. And um, Megan's casserole. My friends who give me recipes, this is literally how I remember them. So this is um, kind of like a layered casserole that a good friend of mine made for me right after I had my baby. And these were just the lunches, waffles, pancakes. My kid really wanted some stuff so he could make his own Lunchables. PB and J's, um, just, this means like ham and cheese sandwich and I got some macaroni and cheese just to have on hand. This is my taco soup. I'm actually having a game night at my house and I'm making taco soup. Doesn't that look good, y'all? It smells amazing. And it was so easy. Like, we cannot get any easier than this. Thank you all for stopping by and seeing my meal plan and my grocery haul. Um, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, uh, don't forget to leave them down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Bye for now.